brothers and sisters. I want to talk about a couple things this morning. I'm just praising God that you're with us today and you're able to watch this video with us. But I want to talk about marriage and what it really means. I've celebrated 22 years this year. And we're still celebrating every day that we're together. But there's things I learned that I have to share with you guys. One of those things I have to share with you is that I had to learn that my spouse is not my first love. Jesus is my first love. Jesus is the reason that I have her. Jesus is the reason that we are together still through rocky times, through hardships. And I'm grateful. But things did try to come between our marriage. The wicked things came be between our marriage. One is a societal tendency to treat your spouse as a lesser being or a lesser part of you and not having the compassion, consideration, and the thought, and yeah, I'm going to use the word thought, that she is an equal half, or in this case, if it's a woman, he is an equal half of you. You are to work together through all things. All decisions, yes, should be made final together. If you can't agree on it, then skip it. Don't try to move forward if you can't agree on it. Literally, just skip it and throw it in the trash. Throw the idea or the movement in the trash. If not, if not one half accepts what is going on, throw it in the trash. It's not meant to be. I do things myself just like that because I've learned why do something and create conflict where there is no reason to create that conflict. How are you going to gain the victory and the joy of your marriage if you're allowing conflict rule that marriage accusation, anger and I don't care how long you've been married arguments will arise disagreements will arise it's not going to be perfect there's going to be trials and tribulations to that marriage it's how you approach and you focus on it and how you come through that's going to change how your marriage is going to succeed or fail. But that Bible better be in the middle of everything. The Word of God better be in the middle of everything you do. Because if that Word of God is not there, that, that marriage is not of God. And it is an abomination to God. When he joined you together, he meant in him. He meant I joined you in me. I gave you a purpose and a plan together. Man should not be alone. I have created him a helpmate. The same for you young women. Stop playing games. If this is not, a marriage is not just a convenience thing. A marriage is supposed to be about love, honor, respect, and a completeness. But it can't be a completeness if it's one-sided. If one is constantly given and the other is demanding. You see, that is a lot of what happens in these marriages. Because you are falsely taught. And it hurts that you have been falsely taught. So when you go into your spouse tonight, and you go into your bedchamber, and you go to bow your heads for prayer together, pray that God anoints your marriage. Pray that God puts a peace upon your relationship. 
pray that God gives you the joy. Because so many marriages fail because they don't put it on the right foundation. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just lift up our brothers and sisters this morning. First and foremost, oh God, thank you for waking us up today, oh Lord. Thank you for giving us the joy to see another beautiful morning and a beautiful daybreak right now, oh Lord. Lord, whatever we've done, whatever keeps us from you, oh God, removing from our eyes, Lord, give us our focus on you. Drive our minds to always focus to you, oh God. Give us the peace, knowing that your hand is in all things. That we just have to trust you, O oh Lord. Lord, I also pray that you forgive our enemies and bless them, O oh Lord. That, Lord, we make a special petition for our brothers and sisters who are battling cancer, strokes, migraines, heart attacks, seizures, and all other manners of illnesses, O oh God. Give them strength to wake up each day and still see your glory through the pain still praise your name while they suffer physically. Lord, you said these bodies are temporary, but you are eternal. And as long as we're in you, we are eternal. Lord, we greatly appreciate this. And again, oh God, we ask you again and again and again, set a hedge of protection around your children today, oh Lord. Your will be done, not our will. Lord, we just thank you and praise you and we give you the glory, O oh God, in all things, in all ways. Our cup surely runneth over in joy, O oh God. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you guys. God bless. Peace and shalom.